external HDMI camcorder, connect to iPad and streaming. You can video switch. You also can add picture logo and scoreboard. Video switch. When you use iOS the capture card, it is free to use. No watermark at corner. Free to use forever. Hello everyone, this is an HDMI camera. What we are going to introduce today is to say how to use this HDMI camera live stream on this iPad or iPhone. Today we are going to introduce a special iOS app. It's called Media Link Switcher. Although there is no way to be as strong as Ops, but the basic pips and side by side. There are also some marquees. There are also some logos that can be used. The point is, if you want to use the software for free, you can use this one from our company. Fabian iOS the capture card. Let's do it first. Start with the iOS capture card. Connect HDMI video to iPad or on the iPhone. This is a capture card for iOS live streaming. There is a place for micro USB power in here. Let's connect the power supply first. This micro USB cable. Connect to a 5 volt power supply. There is a USB output here. Let's connect the USB cable to the iPad. For iPad, please use the USB-C hub. Then connect in HDMI output for the camera. Take it out. Where to connect to HDMI in? Open the app Media Link Switcher. Use your hand to the right and add a capture. Click on it and you see video. The same goes for the iPhone. Output the USB of the iOS capture card. Connect to this Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Connect in. Connect to your iPhone again. The same thing. Turn on the media link switcher. Add a capture. You see. Camera view. I used it on this iPhone. For the sake of demos, I still use the iPad. Turn on the media link switcher. It looks like this. It has four directions. Go right to left. Down and up. When you don't add, this iOS capture card video comes from the time. A watermark will appear on its side. But ah, once I open the video on the iOS HDMI capture card, the watermark will disappear. I press on the right, add I capture. This is when you have a second picture. You can also go on and on. I can add my iOS camera. Add in. What about this video? It is the built-in camera of iOS. I can also switch between the front and rear cameras. Channel 1 is the camera. Channel 2 is the iPad's built-in front camera. During your live broadcast, you can do the switch with your hands. Video switch. In the same way, the third look. Continue to increase. I'm adding this to the video file in this. This is my internal video file for iOS. During live streaming, you can switch with your hands. This way, then let's go ahead and increase. We add this side by side. The first screen is from channel 1. The second screen is from channel 2. So we now have three sources of thought. The first one is an HDMI camera. The second is the front camera of iOS. The third is side by side. Let's keep adding. Let's add one more pip. The first, the second, the third, the fourth. At this point, my video is set. The next thing I'm going to do is set the sound of that microphone. I press this one up. You will find video footage of my house at the moment. Open up the source of this sound. I just have to open what I want. I just want the microphone of HDMI camera. I'll turn it off. 
That's it. At this time, I only leave the HDMI camera. Of course, I'm in the middle of a live stream. I also don't want me to take my iPad. This speaker is turned on, so I press this button. I can also add the logo, marquee or something. I use my hand to the right. The first thing I added here is my photo. This is my photo down. Down. You can adjust your position. Let's say adjust to this side. Then I can go on and on. Then press down again. Go ahead and add what I can add. I can add this one more. Ah. Baseball scoreboard. This one can too. Add here. I can continue to add in this way. Add text. Good over here. You can adjust it to different colors. Let's say I adjust it to this white. Then make it a little bigger. It is possible to move. Okay, that's it. This is how it turned out. Then I press confirm again. The first picture, the second screen. The third picture is like this, and the fourth is like this. Next, I'm going to stream it up on Facebook Live. Of course, I can also connect to YouTube. But I'll be honest, media link switcher. When streaming to YouTube, there may be a problem once or twice. Because you might be in the background of your YouTube, set up some events. Then in order to avoid these annoying things, I'll go live on YouTube later. I'm going to use Restream. This third-party live streaming platform. Live streaming on YouTube is free. And it's very easy to use. Let's start by doing Facebook Live. We use the internal connection of the media link switcher. And I put down with my hand. And he jumped to this icon. Please click here for management. Edit Facebook. Then I did a solo live stream. Stand back again. And then over here, you can set the quality of the live broadcast. Full HD. HD also has a bitrate setting. I'm set to full HD. The bitrate is 300. Then press back. Then you can start streaming. Press this place to go live. I can do this side of the switch. Switch. This Facebook Live is probably like this. What's next? YouTube Live. I would use Restream.io. This platform is to do the concatenation. For the first time, please set it up on your computer. After that, you don't need a computer. First, you open the browser. Then open this Restream.io. First of all, let's add my YouTube Live. There is also Facebook Live. I'll start by adding a YouTube Live event. I choose this one public. Then add a second Facebook Live. Profile is free of charge. At this time, I'm going to get the RTMP and the key out. RTMP. Okay, you can see there are two. The first is RTMP. The second is the key. I take these two things. Copy the app to the iOS capture card. How do you copy it? My game is to copy these two to your email first. Let's say I open email. I send it to myself. Wait a minute. This email will be sent to my iPad. Okay, let's go to email. Make a copy of the two things you just had. This is email. This one is RTMP. Copy, and then to the media link switcher. This side and then the new. An RTMP server has been added. This place is clicked in. I will take the name where it is. It's called Restream. The first string sticks it on. 
Tom Lear also pasted it on the second one. This goes to your ice email. Make a copy of this. Here. Then press down here and go back. And then it is very important where the live stream is currently streamed. Please choose this place. Click on it and you will see that it is currently restream YouTube, the one I just added. At this time, I will talk about pressing live. Live to restream point aisle. Indirectly reached YouTube live broadcast. I'm on the run. Right or wrong, switch videos. Let's take a look at YouTube live. The above, it is simply an external HDMI video device. Connect to this iPad, do a live stream. Then this live broadcast can do video switching. You can also attach your photo or text. In the first place, the point is, when we connect, this iOS live capture card is the time. There is no watermark in the lower right corner of this. You can use it for free forever.